Hello, and in this final video of the series, we're going to explore how to write a response which will help you achieve perfect marks for section B of paper one for AQAA English Literature AS. We've already gone through how to plan, we've already gone through what you should include in your mark scheme. Let's now explore how we write a response and what it looks like. So, writing the essay itself, we want to make sure that we avoid being generic, giving some general information. Get on with your argument. Say briefly what this is. We want to save your analysis for the main body. The main body itself will obviously be undertaking uh, a method which you may call PE or whatever, but it's essentially state your point. Make sure you cover all aspects of the assessment objectives. Again, you might be doing this separately, so you don't have to include all of them in each paragraph, but make sure you cover them by the end. The conclusion, you want to reaffirm your argument once more, making it clear why you feel this way about the text and the argument that's being created. Here's the question once more. So obviously familiarize yourself with that. You may want to pause this and have a go yourself before you see the video. But here's the answer. Blake's poem, The Garden of Love, highlights that love and religion are not completely different. However, there is no doubt within the poem that man's inter inter interpretation of God's love has corrupted its original message, causing misery to all bar those in black who control its message. And notice how rigidly my plan is being used here. Firstly, the use of the first person narrative style composed in a linear fashion creates a more immediate and direct relationship between the innocent speaker and the reader. We are able to experience the pathos the speaker feels as they move around what was once a perfect garden of love. This style is typical of Blake's style, as he will often incorporate different voices in order to make his work seem more representative of a collective voice in order to create a greater notion of authority for his viewpoint. Moreover, the shift in settings, I'm still looking at form here, from the original garden of love to one corrupted by death, tombstones where flowers should be, supports the notion that love has become corrupted by man. We have shifted from a utopia to a dystopian world. Within the original garden, Blake uses verbs such as play and grow in order to highlight the innocence and basic nature of love as God originally conceived it. However, this is then contrasted by the injection of man as these verbs are replaced by lexis such as shut and binding to impose the view that man's use of religion to express love has created a truly negative and almost torturous world which causes pain and misery in a psychological sense. This corruption is also seen due to the fact that a chapel was placed in its midst. The direct reference to the Industrial Revolution, something typically despised by first-generation romantic writers such as Blake, is presented in their typical manner as it highlights that man has imposed themselves upon the garden of love. God has created and instead of flowers blossoming, man's control of this love has created a sense of death and restriction binding. Furthermore, you can see I'll continue on with my argument being uh, embedded within what I'm trying to suggest to the marker. But that's the structure. Argument is being used all the way throughout. Then finally, overall, Blake has demonstrated that love and God are not entirely different. He's highlighted that man's control of God's garden has led to corruption of this message, which is all but lost. This is not to say that religion and love are separate but to argue that God's love is being selfishly controlled and sheltered by the few to the detriment of the many. So that's how I write the response. Go through the videos once more to see how we plan, how we can use the mark scheme fully. Well done. Now let's make sure it's your turn to be revising as you know you should.